Hey everybody, welcome to Pick Up Steam. I'm Kirk, a product developer here at Lakeshore. Today, we're gonna make lighters out of paper straws and strips of construction paper. At Lakeshore, we love Steam because it encourages kids to get curious and be creative through activities in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. With a Steam experiment like the one we're about to do, you practice problem solving, reasoning, and critical thinking. And you also learn how to face challenges and be persistent. Let's get started. In this experiment, we'll see that two pairs of forces are at work when a glider flies in the air. The first pair is gravity and lift. Gravity pulls the glider down and lift helps it overcome gravity. Lift happens because of a difference in pressure between the air flowing over the wing and the air flowing under it. On its own, a straw can't create the lift it needs to fly, so we'll need to think about how we can give it that lift. The second pair of forces that keeps the glider in flight is drag and thrust. Drag is a type of friction. It's the force pushing against the front of the glider as it flies. Thrust is what helps the glider fight drag. Similar to how a glider's lift needs to be stronger than its weight, its thrust needs to be stronger than the drag pushing back on it. Our glider will get the thrust it needs from the strength we use to throw it. Let's figure out how we can give our straw everything it needs to fly. We'll plan our glider, then we'll create it, test it, and ask ourselves how to improve it. That's what the STEAM process is all about. And along the way, we'll learn a lot about the concepts we just discussed. Our goal is to make a glider that flies far and straight. To do that, we'll need construction paper, scissors, a pencil, paper straws, and tape. First, let's plan out our glider. To make our glider, we're gonna start with a straw and paper wings like this. Now, it's important to plan out and draw your glider or your designs first so that you can think back and know what you wanna change. First, we wanna make our wings. To do that, we're gonna take a piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half. Starting at the folded side, draw your wing out, then take your scissors and cut it out starting with the folded side of the paper. Once you have that piece cut out, you can unfold it to get the full wingspan. You'll see the fold line in the middle of the paper. Put your straw right there and tape your straw to your wing. Now, let's take a look at our glider. Gliders are made out of two parts, a body and the wings. The body is a long, thin cylinder and it doesn't have very much air resistance, but the wings, on the other hand, do, and they are what helps give it lift, just like a real glider. Let's try it out. That didn't work. Now's the part of the steam process where we take a look at our designs, see what worked and what didn't and what we might do differently next time. What did you notice when we tested our glider with wings? Unlike a real glider with metal or wooden wings, our wings aren't very rigid, so they don't resist the air very well. How do you think we can make our wings create even more air resistance? That design didn't work. Let's save it as design number one. Let's draw a couple more designs. Let's try one that has maybe a couple of wings. How about we take those wings and we make them into circles? Oh, let's make them different sized circles. Let's make the front one the big circle. And the back one, let's make that a little circle. I like that. Let's, let's see what happens with that one. Now it's time to create our plane. First, we want to make a long strip of paper. And then we want to make a smaller hoop, so we'll use a shorter one. Let's cut these out. Now that we have our strips, we want to roll them into hoops so they have more air resistance. And let's tape the ends of the strip together for both the large and then the small hoops. Take another piece of tape and tape the straw on the inside of the hoop and add the big hoop on the back. Now we have a big hoop in the front and a small hoop in the back. Let's see how it works. That was really interesting. This plane flipped. Now a flip happens because there's more air resistance in the front causing it to want to turn around. So if we're gonna do this again, I ask myself, how can I improve it? Let's try with a smaller wing in the front. That flew much better. Well, that worked really well. Now let's ask why. 
We used hoops instead of flat wings for more air resistance, and we put the bigger air resistance in the back of the glider so it could fly straight without doing a flip. Worked really well, didn't it? To level up or down, challenge kids to try and get their gliders to fly greater or shorter distances. And the older kids, challenge them to create even more than one glider and compare their glider's performance. I hope you had fun experimenting and discovering today. I sure did. Thanks for learning with Lakeshore, and be sure to check out our other STEAM experiments. I'll see you next time.